This is an M-rated game, so viewer discretion is advised. The Walking Dead survival instinct is based on the very popular TV series by the same first name. Now I must confess I have not seen one minute of the show, but with the exception of the characters motivations, I could pretty much guess the whole show revolves around a bunch of people avoiding zombies, or walkers as they seem to put it in this game. Is the name zombie really that taboo? My guess is that the series just want to keep themselves highbrow and don't want to use the Z word. Or maybe it's just insensitive. Maybe we should just call them the living challenged. Now this isn't the first time that I've reviewed a game without any knowledge of the backstory behind it. I did it with my Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix review, as I'd never read those books at the time. And I really found myself to be the most unbiased reviewer on that game, since I didn't have any expectations on how the story should flow, or be disappointed that there isn't any character in it that I would like. And I felt that was the same with this game as well. There is some really fun gameplay in here, but the problem is getting to it. I guess it'll depend on the kind of gameplay that you're expecting. If you want slow, repetitive, yet challenging gameplay, you really might enjoy this game. If you want a run and gun action galore type gameplay, this is not the title for you. Now the graphics look great for a Wii game. It's everything you might expect. The problem is this is a Wii U game and it's very ugly for a title for that system. The levels that you explore are drab and unappealing. I get this is a world completely destroyed, but there is no reason for the low res graphics. The zomp, excuse me, Walkers are a joke. They pretty much were the same characters over and over again. So unless they're cloning walkers in some laboratory, there shouldn't be so many alike looking living dead. Now I did like it when you hurt them sometimes, damage would show on their bodies. But when they die, they just kind of fall flat over most of the time. It was just so silly and unnatural. And then they just vanished. Why in this day and age, can't we keep the bodies of our slain opponents on the ground, just at least for a few minutes? Is this game really pushing the Wii U's graphical card? Because the graphics themselves are surely not doing it. Now I did say the gameplay could be fun and really scary at times. Mainly because if you weren't careful, you could easily get attacked by a walker who's hiding around a corner. My problem is the monotony of it. What you had to do in the level was constantly sneak up to walkers and kill them. If you didn't sneak up to them, you would have to stab, bash, or slice them a few times. Now there are guns to find, but the problem is that if you fire one shot, it'll alert all the walkers in the area and they will just converge on you. And if you shoot the swarm of them that are coming at you, the game will just keep spawning more of them. It was such a tease to give us all these guns and not really letting us use them at all without having some death wish. While I'm playing through this game, I kept wishing I could use the gun more because the game could be a lot of fun as a first person shooter. It had just the right atmosphere for it. But this is a stealth game, so you're gonna need to cause distractions, do quick kills, and avoid the enemies most of the time. As you're traveling from one level to another, you're going to need to drive there. You're going to need to choose if you're going to take a back road, a street, or a highway. They each have their own perils. For example, if you take the fast route and take the highway, there's a good chance that you'll break down and need to find something to fix your car. Which means dodging walkers to find an object that is somewhere on the smaller level map. There are multiple paths for you to explore. And if you decide to go exploring, you can really find some more supplies or even more survivors. These survivors can be helpful between missions to find gas, food, or ammo. The problem is that the car or truck can only hold so many people. Because we all know when the dead roam the earth, people are still following the safety belt rules. So you will often have to decide who's the better companion for you. And I thought that was a really cool idea. Now the game controlled all right. I did have some problems doing the one hit kills. It should be as easy as hitting a button at the right time, but it never quite worked right. Even the attacks as simple as sneaking up behind someone and stabbing them in the head would occasionally not work for no reason. Now I want you to know this is a very hard game, mostly for the reasons I've already talked about, not being able to use a gun without inviting a bunch of walkers on you. If you want a challenge, this game will definitely give it to you but it can be frustratingly difficult at times. It's not always a matter of taking a different direction. Even sometimes restarting from your last checkpoint will set you up in a bad situation. The game doesn't relent on making this game as hard as possible for you. The Walking Dead survival instinct was fun in parts, but the monotony and sheer difficulty of the game might make you turn this off fairly quickly. It also doesn't help that the title itself is about five to seven hours long. If you're interested in a zombie game, yes, I said it zombie game that is really more about running away from the action and sneaking around and killing slowly, I could see you enjoying this game as a weekend rental. Anyone else though, I would just skip it. 